Closed prices return back to levels we haven't seen since April of 2022, the peak of the market. We're going to talk about that and more today. Hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermere Real Estate. For 35 years, I've been an avid study of the real estate market, helping our clients make smart and financially profitable real estate decisions. We're going to give you some information this week so you can do the same. We're going to talk about rates for sale and pending, months of inventory, median sales price, see how the market's changed and what you can do to take advantage of that marketplace. So first up is interest rates. Yay, we're back in the sixes. Gotta love it. It's really not much under seven, but we'll celebrate anything that we can get shows rates moving in the right direction. Feds are alluding to a, a cut in rates. We'll see whether that really translates in the marketplace, but the good news is today rates are below 7%. We'll take that. Our active listings are showing a slight increase this week, up 3%, reaching the peak number so far this year, which is what we expect as we move forward. Inventory will climb, but we remain down 34% on active listings compared to 2023. That has been the story all year, and one of the reasons our market is surging as much as it is, just inventory is not there for buyers to buy. Uh, speaking of buyers buying, well, pending sales are up 33%, so you're talking a massive switch in a year with listings down and pendings up. Uh, but this week we're up 8% compared to last week. Again, the highest pending number so far this year. That's also good news. So months of inventory, that is a, a great reflection for sellers at this point, looking at 0.52 months of inventory, basically twice as fast a market as we had last year at 1.04. Uh, that's why we're seeing multiple offers across the board in any many price ranges. Uh, speaking of price ranges, our median price closed this week, hit a million eight oh five. We haven't seen this number since April 27th of 2022, basically when the market peaked out in that year. Uh, that is a 6% increase from last week, and it's also up 26% from 2023. So I want to talk about that number specifically. Does that mean every house in the east side went up 26%? Absolutely not. What we're seeing, well, those homes have definitely gone up, but what we're seeing is a buyer appetite and desire for the upper end of the market that they hadn't had in really since the peak of the market in April of 2022. So if you're a seller and you've got an upper end house, this is the time to get on the market. We are seeing demand that is existing for those properties that was not there last year. So, um, and of course, if you're a buyer, you always have to be interested in looking at these homes seriously, because if you keep waiting and we keep talking about how prices are going up, you're going to regret that decision to wait. So as always, if you've got questions, we're here to help. Uh, reach out to us by phone, text, leave us a message at the bottom of this video. If you've yet to do so, hit the like button, share it with a friend, hit subscribe and the bell icon to make sure you don't miss our future updates. Well, that's it for now, and we'll talk with you next week. Take care.